Well, your Carolina is helping bring awareness to a hair loss disorder known as alopecia. And we have got Miss Lakita Porter, who is part of the True Blue Movement, creating awareness to this condition. And they have an event coming up on September 14th. Great yes. to see you in Great. your gorgeous blue. Thank you. Great to see you in your I gorgeous mean, you blue. you know, got to support the cause. Thank you. I love it. Yes. I tell us it. again. We, I gave a little teeny tiny definition, but what exactly is alopecia? So there are so many different forms of alopecia, but alopecia is just a huge word for hair loss. Mm. And there are so many different types, so many different conditions that cause alopecia. Even when people are going through like chemotherapy yeah. and they lose their hair, it's just, it's alopecia. Right. But alopecia areata is where your immune system attacks your hair follicles. And then androgenic alopecia is pretty much that male pattern baldness where it starts in the crown. Right. And it's more hereditary. Then you have alopecia totalis, and that's where you lose all your hair in your head and neck region. Wow. And alopecia universalis is when you have no hair at all. And it seems like alopecia is getting more prevalent now yeah. and I think what it is too is more people are just coming out and just they're talking about they're it they're talking about it they're unmasking it and so it's beginning to grow a bigger platform for awareness and you know more information and different causes because now women have postpartum alopecia yeah. and that's after birthing you know, a baby and the hormones, they just go through so many different mm -hmm. things and different changes. And so alopecia is, is just so wide now. And with the, the different tests, like for me, my doctor, he drew blood, he did my blood work up and they didn't find anything. And so he referred me to a dermatologist. And that's the big thing now, getting in front of it. Because right. a lot of times when you see the bald spots or you see excessive hair shedding, you just immediately want to go get a hair piece to cover it up. Right. No, go to the doctor first. Right. And then have, you know, ask the questions, you know, and then have your doctor send you to a dermatologist if they don't know what else to do because they specialize in skin. Right. And so that's what happened with me. The dermatologist did another blood workup and they tested me for everything. And for me, I have an unspecified case of alopecia. Oh my gosh, you knew so there were like, so many. Jeez. Yes. So my alopecia doesn't even have yeah, a name. You're that special girl. I'm that yes. special girl. Uh huh. And so after he did my blood work up, then he said, we're gonna do a biopsy. I found all of this That's out. That's a scary word, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so they did the biopsy. He numbed my scalp. Well, the nurse on my scalp. Right. And he came in, gave me my injection, and about 15 minutes later, he came in and cut a plug of my scalp, Ugh. sewed me up, bandaged me up, and sent me on my way. And I got my results two weeks later, and it was that it was confirmed that I had I have alopecia, but it just doesn't have a name. Have a name. Well, you do such a great job, you know, with an event that you have coming up and with your group to help, you know, ladies and men that are going through this, because for the girls especially, deciding yes. to be like, I'm not gonna cover up with wigs anymore. Right. We're gonna let it go. That's a huge emotional decision for so many people. And it is a huge emotional decision. I, it's, I, I, yeah. It's kind of like you go through grief. Yes. And you grieve that loss. Right. Because whereas some people are born with alopecia, that's not most of our cases right. like most of the time like for me I had a head full of hair and then to you know find the bald spot and then it just but the telltale sign my scalp was itching profusely like it would not oh. stop but I was just thinking you know just sweeping under the rug I don't right. want to deal with it maybe right a shampoo is different right. or I'm, yeah and a lot of times when you don't want to deal with it that puts you worse. at a disadvantage Gosh. because it gets worse. And that's what happened with me. And so I went through the crying, I went through the praying and asking God to regrow my hair back. Yeah. But what happened, God used my pain for a purpose. Yeah. And so now I'm just excited to be able to bring more awareness because like you said, 
men deal with it a little bit better than women. Right. Because there's Sometimes women. Sometimes here's our identity and it makes us feel safe. Yes. And, you know, and it, yeah. it's, it's kind of like our crown and our glory. And so it just brings so many positive and negative mm -hmm. things. And so when you're going through that loss, it's like, okay, what do I do? How will people accept me? Like you have all of these questions going through your head. Right. And it's just, you have to fall in love with yourself. You have to understand that hair doesn't make me you look make beautiful. You. And I, you do look beautiful, girl. You have got fantastic you. eyes. And y'all, there's a huge event that thank is you. coming up. If you're going through this, September 14th, 2 to 4, all this information will be on our website. Yes. So you can go. And thank you so much for sharing your story thank and you. being brave. And you're yes. just awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, we love it when you come on. <laughs>